Coca-Cola and obesity. Obesity is a problem that concerns all of us. Our family's health is at stake. There are hundreds of drinks that are still bad, even if, you, if they are low sugar or low calories. Diabetes runs in my family, heart disease and cancer. In Mexico, my country of origin, it's cheaper to buy Coke than drinking water. Having said this, the drink of choice is Coca-Cola. Most of my family growing up were obese due to this lifestyle. If you choose to live a healthy lifestyle, you should drink none of this product. If you drink Coke, you will be fatter and fatter. The solution is simple. Stop drinking Coke. Coca-Cola Classic is one of the biggest selling beverages across the globe. The carbonated soft drink was invented in the 19th century by John Pemberton for the medical purpose. Was brought to the market by Asa Gig under the banner of Coca-Cola Company. The company dominated the soft drink market to the 20th century. The drink was originally named after its basic ingredients, coca leaf and cola nut. According to the health.com website, artificial sweetening beverages like Coke Zero have been linked to other health issues, including increased risk of heart disease. An observational study found a link between artificial sweetener beverages and increase of risk of heart disease among women with no prior history of heart disease. Some of the strangest and most successful drinks available around the globe are Coca-Cola Coffee Plus, launched in Japan in 2017 and in Australia during the summer. Coca-Cola Clear, this is a Japan drink only. According to its consumers, it's a, it has a lemony taste with zero calories. Coca-Cola Raspberry was launched in New Zealand on a trial basis in the year 2007, and it was discontinued before the end, the, the end of the year. However, a Raspberry Diet Coke was also briefly available. Coca-Cola Ginger was introduced in Australia on November 2016, but it was on discontinued. Coca-Cola Orange, this was an UK and Gibraltar drink in 2007, being not available anymore. It was also briefly sold in Japan, Turkey, the USA, and Brazil. Diet Coke Plus had B3, B12, and BC vitamin added to it. Was launched in Finland and Brazil. Nowadays, it's restricted only to Japan. And last but not least, it's Coca-Cola Green Tea. And yes, you guessed it. It's also a Japan exclusive drink that was sold in 2009. I was more shocked to find articles completely opposite to each other. The one that shocked me the most was the Ginger Coke article. The first website that I looked at, it's called You're Not, a, You're Not From Around Here That Come, where they talk about Ginger Coke being a Chinese Coke remedy, Chinese cold remedy. Also reading the DailyMail.com, I found that Ginger Coke has 64 grams of sugar when regular Coke only has 60 grams. Another magazine from China called That's Shanghai called the drink super boring. It's almost like being a 21 year old and spending your Friday night in the library. Now, let's talk about what health consequences that can be triggered in your blood drinking Coca-Cola. Obesity is not the only one. Coca-Cola, Great Britain article in 2020, talked about hot diabetes, menopause syndrome, self-damage, rotten teeth, strokes, heart disease, and even cancer can be caused by this product. Drinking just one 12-ounce soda every day for a year, it's equal to 55,000 calories or 15 pounds in a year. Sugar beverages and sodas contribute to diabetes risk, as well as issues controlling blood sugar in people who already have diabetes. The body digests the sugars from soda quickly. This contributes to insulin resistance and causes rapid spikes of blood sugar. People that consume daily sodas on a daily basis 
just one of two 12 ounce cans a day were 20% more likely to suffer a heart attack or heart attack fatality. This includes 40,000 men, but similar studies specific for women indicate very similar results. Now, let's. what do you think the American Heart Association recommendation is about this problem? The American Heart Association provides science-based treatment guidelines from heart care professionals to help ensure the best treatment for every patient every time. They educate the lawmakers and the public as they advocate for changes to protect and improve the health of the community. There are several recommendations like doing your own research, get informed, know the facts. This is, these are great ways to start. It's not recommended to drink more than three cans of sweet beverages. The number of calories in three cans of soda is 450. Sweet drinks have no nutritional value. Stop drinking them. Our calories are not the same. Good calories are those that provide lean protein, hearty, hearty fats, and complex carbs from fresh whole fruits and quality meals. Bad calories are those that don't provide your body with good nutrition. Mine and food article from April 14, 2021 talks about these bad calories and the consequences of drinking Coke, which are having to take insulin if you become diabetic over time, toothaches due to rotten teeth, having a stroke, becoming addicted to the drink, making this problem increase even more. Some of the positive outcomes of not drinking Cokes are being healthier, having more energy, better smiles, and less risk of having a stroke or heart disease. Realizing all these benefits that you have can make a great change in changing your life. In conclusion, if you choose to live a lifestyle, a healthy lifestyle, you can live longer. You can live longer, be healthier, have a better smile. You will be, if you keep uh, drinking Coke, you will become fatter. The simple solution is to stop drinking Coke.